What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We're going to be playing a $250,000 uh, Ultimate Thanksgiving loser bracket game versus Saya Joe. And this game went into overtime. Um, if you don't know Saya, he's kind of been on the scene for a while now. He likes to run a lot of off meta. And you know, he's always somebody you don't want to play because he could definitely catch you off guard. But yeah, this was a loser bracket game. It was really a hell game uh, from the get go. You know, the way he plays, he likes to slow, slow it down. So, you know, I couldn't really get uh, into a rhythm, I'd say. But yeah, man, I'm here to break it down, uh, show you guys the gameplay, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So first play, we're going to run the ball. Um, you know, we don't get too many yards, but I just wanted to fill out the defense. See, you know, what he's going to come out in, you know, what guy he's going to use her, uh, what kind of shell he's going to run, and, you know, from there, get my info and play the game. So, you know, we see he's in 2 4 5 odd. We have identifier on very clutch ability um a lot of these defense ha defenses nowadays have two linebackers uh before like last year it was primarily three three five wide as right here we're gonna throw a crossing route um that's one of my favorite plays to run and you'll see a lot of more bunch players running that play now uh basically like a pat sale from years prior just a crosser you roll out you have a hitch underneath can't wait for playmaker to come out so that play will be even better but yeah it's just an easy read it's right here, another easy read to flood. But like I was saying, Identifier is, uh, I want to say must-have, but it's definitely a very good ability. Really do wish it was 1 AP. Um, but with these defenses now, dollar, 2, 4, 5 odd, um, you know, Identifier is very crucial. It's right here. We had Triangle wide open. Excuse me, Y on Xbox, the corner route. But, you know, it is what it is. We still get a first down, easy yards. So, you know, if you've been tr having trouble getting lurked uh, with these dollar, 2, 4, 5 odd defenses, uh, I suggest maybe try an identifier and see how that works for you. You get to see where your user, your opponent's user is at in all times. People like to hide, and you know it, it can help you in the run game too. If someone's on a certain linebacker, you could just run the ball because you know you know that they can't shoot the gap from whatever guy they're on. Whereas last year, 3-3-5 wide, uh, everyone's going to use the middle linebacker every play, no matter what. You don't really need it last year. How you do this year? Right here, we're going to run flood and make it easy read to the tight end. And we get eight yards. So this drive has been nice. But the way Sia plays on defense, you know, early and just throughout the whole game is he likes to play max coverage. Uh, I don't think he blitzed once this game. And, you know, that's cool. You know, I can make easy reads until we get down here. This is where it kind of does get a little tricky. Um, it's very hard to dot up, like, you know, max coverage defenses, especially wide when you are on the goal line, um, just the windows are tighter. You know, you can't really run the ball too well versus wide and so on and so forth. You see his baseline press on the left. I wanted to throw that high ball uh, streak, but, you know, he kind of got back there in time. It was Charles Woodson. No way I was going to try Charles. So, you know, we just low ball that, you know, vertical is a little drag tight end route. Right here, we're going to run stretch. And we're able to get to the outside. We get a bad spin. Patterson breaks a tackle for us. I mean, that was just the cleanest drive I honestly had all day uh, at this time and moment. It was just a super easy drive. He's right here, guys. He's going to be running the gun deuce close. Really don't know what offense he was in or defense. I know the forms, just not the playbooks. So forgive me. And if you wanted to know, I am running Seattle on offense. And I want to say this is Washington. No, excuse me. This is Tampa Bay on defense. So right here, he's going to run the ball a lot. Uh, on this beginning this first drive I don't know what his um you know motives were whether it was to you know take some clock or just you know run the ball until I could stop it but you know I was in this double a gap you know trying to just let my double or nothings eat and you know we we're gonna see very soon that this is not good run D at all it's right here I actually do shoot the gap but it was with a safety um and we actually do get stiff armed it's right here we are gonna once more get toted on and you know i'm not mad like i was saying a little bit in my prior video my previous video after the latest patch you know the run is definitely better i'd want to say i don't know what made it be like that but you know the run definitely got a little better um you could run honestly versus any look even if they're you know shooting the gaps sometimes you could just id their user and boom still run the ball and I think it's after this play that I'm like, yeah, I got to get out of this defense. Let me get in wide and slow the run down and play a little bit of coverage. And that's what we do. So wide will always kind of be like that uh, safe, you know, 
insurance defense that you need to run, whether it be versus a run or just in general, like the red zone, your last line of defense, defense. Wide is always good to have as a back option. I actually do decide to, you know, maybe I should run a little bit of 245 odd and give them that threat of, you know, a blitz because 245 odd screams still. It's just very, very bad versus the run. But for the most part, we're just going to play cover four passive, you know, defense. I really don't like this. But, you know, until he shows me he's going to pass, this is what I'm going to run. It's going to play the run decent. I'm going to be able to shoot gaps if I want to get up top on the safety. It's right here. We actually deed up three straight plays, and here comes the fourth and one. I'm definitely expecting a run. I'm never going to run commit, honestly, um, at least, like, you know, in the second quarter when I feel like, you know, he could pass at any time. Here's Dan Marino. It's right here. We get a shed of death, and we stop him on – you know what what would have been a you know almost a first down we stop him we got clicked on in the dt we shedded him and yeah that was just a huge stop man he was definitely trying to take the whole half with him plus he got ball at half so you know it's just crazy the way some people could play this game I'm not saying that in a bad way but you know people now know like yeah i'm clocking man it's so hard to play defense um, I got to clock this half out, clock this quarter out, whatever it may be. And that's definitely what he was trying to do. And he almost, you know, was he was doing really well with it. He got into like three minute territory. If I didn't get that shit, I would have definitely been a little nervous because, you know, um, when I don't have the ball in my hands and someone's clocking, it's just the worst feelings right here. We are going to try to clock him. And no, that was not the move. I like the run on the first down. But after that second down run, him showing me he could shoot the gap. I 100% should have, you know, went to something else. It's not really that big of a deal, though, because we could easily convert this fourth down in one. Um, and it's just going to help us clock if we can. It's right here. We're going to go to clear out. We are in Seattle, like I said. And I'm going to let the streak set so I could throw this corner out. And I don't even look for the corner out. Um, I was a little cross-eyed right there. I'm not going to lie. The corner out was wide open. And I was just so hell-bent on throwing that, you know. Uh, tight end post that's one bad habit I have in the Seattle book is I'm always looking for that post when I really should be looking for like a corner route or just you know something in the sideline I'm always looking towards the middle of the field but you know it's all good we convert the fourth it's right here guys we are gonna run base pretty much just trying to take this clock not give him a chance to score before half like I said he does get ball at half it's right here we are gonna run flood and you know he has pretty good defense and then we hit r1 late that flood out route um I want to say he sent two or three people right there. Thankfully, we had enough time to make an easy, nice read. Only downside of that play is we actually got out of bounds. So it is what it is. But, you know, we're going to run the ball once more right here. Um, one thing, you know, it's what it is. It's whatever, you know, for me. I'll, I'll run the ball in the red zone because I don't feel too comfortable passing there 24-7. You know, you could easily dot up, but it's just not ideal, man, it's, especially when someone's playing max coverage. But a bad habit that I have developed is, you know, just running on first down a lot in general, whether it be in the red zone or, you know, starting my drive or, you know, just after I get a first down. Definitely don't want to run a lot on first down. Got to get back to my, you know, not pass every play, but, you know, definitely just be more pass heavy than, you know, run, pass, run, pass. It's right here. We are going to make a tough window read. Nice click on, but we don't get the first. The only reason I threw that was because it was a third and 12. And that definitely could have gone sideways bad, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to take our three and, you know, hopefully hold up D and not give him any points before half. And if we're being real, guys, I don't know what to expect right here. Like, he's ran the ball every play so far on his opening drive. Um, you know, as a defender, I really don't know what to expect, what to do. I know there's going to be like wheel routes, post routes. He has Dan Marino, hot route master. I just have to watch out. It's right here. Nice delay fade dot, but I'll take it. Great defense, you know. Keep him in bounds. Five-yard gain, you know, 25 seconds left in the quarter. I just had to play solid defense right here. A couple more plays, and we will be going into half with the lead. I had to back up Woodson because I know there's a nice fade glitch in that. But he doesn't even go to it. He goes to a corner route against my cover four, and I don't know if my zone drops weren't set. What it may be, yeah, I had 10s right there, and that wasn't the move. After he went no huddle, after he audibled, 100% got a call timeout right there, set my zone drops to 20 or something like that because I had a cover four shell. You know, he's still not in field goal range. I think Max Tucker could hit this, but I don't know if he has Max Tuck Tucker or not because I don't have him myself. It's right here. Um, 
he dials up a weird little play. There's really nothing going to the sidelines. Maybe that left tight end route. But, you know, we get the stop. We don't get help. We don't give him any points. And, you know, it's looking good. Um, you know, a nice little dub to end the half going up 10-0. It's right here. We are in odd, and we actually shoot the gap perfectly. Um, odd, you know, it's iffy, man. Sometimes you can shoot the gap. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you scream. Sometimes you don't. This is really what I'm scared of is when he audibles down, can I stop the run? And right here, you know, we get a lucky shed. I will take it. But it didn't look clean, you know. He had a nice little running room. It's right here, guys. We are going to play coverage. And there's the tight end post I was talking about. Wheel route, tight end post, hitch, flat. Just a staple route combo. You know, you could literally run this out of any form. This used to be like a gun bunch form or gun bunch play with mesh posts. And it still is. But, you know, a lot of people have developed it and taken it into other forms. Last year, people ran out of trips. You could run a bunch tight end. Um, tight is a really good one you can run out of. And, you know, once you have that hot rod master, you really could do anything. It's right here. He's going to audible to the deuce. And, you know, we shoot the gap perfectly. That's clean, man. I really do wish, you know, I have a faster user. And uh, there will be faster users coming up soon. But, uh, you know, speed burst plus a fast user equals easy gap shoots. The speed burst is pretty cheesy if we're being real, guys. It's right here. I'm going to run commit, I want to say, on a third and four. And... Actually, uh, I don't think I ran commit right there. That was just a clean gap shoot by, I believe that was Junior Sale. I thought I, I am going to run commit here soon, but it just wasn't on that play. It was right here. Once more, fourth down and five for the game, pretty much. And we just had to guard the slant, and that's not what we do. That's that's what we don't do. Um, that was just a five-yard, you know, if we have a five-yard hook right there, I saw I changed it up. That would have been a complete bag. Just a little sleepy of a user. You know, I was expecting that post cross or whatever it was to be open because i ran a cover two shell um but in reality i should have just bit on the slant and live with the results it's right here i run commit on this play as you see and wow he's gonna crib it and i'm not gonna lie to you guys that's happened so many times i'm gonna stop run committing honestly man because one thing that happened right there was i was trying to shoot the gap i got blocked off because i ran commit someone got in my way and another, another thing is just in general, every time I run commit, it just doesn't work or they end up cribbing something. So uh, it's just not the move. Don't run commit. You know, if you are going to do something, just spam R3. This R3 button right here will help you, you know, send those safeties from up top against the run. Just watch out if it's a play action, because if it is a play action and, you know, you're clicking R3, spamming R3, next thing you know, your safeties are just going to give up a one play touchdown. It's right here, guys. I'm trying to go for a bomb, honestly. And, you know, look at his defense. He's backed up. He's not having any of it. I could have possibly thrown that slant. But, you know, I was eyeing down the post, eyeing down his safeties. Um, nonetheless, you know, we'll live with it on a first down. Play the next down. Go to the next down. It's right here, guys. We get um, just a nice, easy drag to Moss. We don't get the first, but, you know, it's all good. Third down. We're 10 of, 10 of 11, 120 yards. So, you know, we are efficient, but we don't have the yardage to, you know, prove. Um, that's what I was, you know, kind of referring to. He's been playing Ben don't break defense all the way up the field. It's right here. We're looking for this crossing route dot play. It's a third and two. And, you know, let me just get my first. Uh, no reason to wait for that crosser on a third down. You know, he did, I think, send like two, three people. So we had a lot of time. We could have waited, but it is all good. Just move those chains. It's right here once more. This is my habit now. I run the ball, which is it's not a bad habit, especially with how you know decent the run is now. You could definitely run at will. But you know, I just definitely want to keep him on his toes and just you know get back on my dot stuff. It's right here, audibling over to the bunch tight end. Um, this was working decently. All turny. It's right here. We are gonna hit this nice out route. And uh, like I was saying earlier, instead of those out routes, I'm going to start running zigs maybe. In that specific instance, honestly, an out route was better because he had put a say, uh, flat from his inside linebacker. And the out route was just more, you know, faster than a zig route. In other circumstances, I'd rather have a zig. Is right here. He actually plays really good defense. We're going to try to take off, and that's what we do. We are on conservative, so thankfully we do not fumble. It's right here. Once more, going back to the... Pat sale type of play, the crosser, uh, hitch. 
And, you know, he plays really good defense. I was not going to try chucking that crosser. Um, I could have maybe got it on the bounce back, but it's just too risky for me, man. I believe that was at cover four, and that's what I was talking about when he was just running backed off coverage. He's right here. We are going to run dig return, and we hit the nice out route for an easy yard gain, an easy first down conversion. It was just wide open. I believe I was going to have the zig route open as well. But, um, you know, I just saw that. I'm like, yeah, that's an easy read. Let me just take it, convert the first down. He's right here. Going to run base. And this is, you know, if I'm running on first down here, I'll, I'll take it. Because first of all, we got seven yards. Second of all, you know, we are in this clock type of situation. We can't really honestly take the whole clock um, the way I've been moving on this drive. But, you know, if we get if we clock and get seven, it's GG's, it's wraps. It's right here, O one one trap, and he gets a nice shed from the DT. Um, no, not mad at it. Like I said, it's still a third and two. Easy, super easy down to convert. That's right here. We're going to go to verticals on this third down and two. And um, he plays great defense. He sends his guy on the left. And thankfully, Patterson sat on the sideline. He didn't, you know, run out of bounds. Um, and he just, we, that was just a perfect, you know, that was great defense, honestly. But just even better patience slash, you know, having time in the pocket right there for me. And then we obviously sat down. I could have maybe ran for an extra couple yards. But honestly, it, it is manageable that I, you know, it's a possibility that now I can clock. You know, I don't think I'll get it to triple zeros by any means. But, you know, I can make it definitely tough on him. As right here, this run is going to help. And we're going to fall down on a second and two slash second and one. The best case would be right here to get stopped on a, you know, third and one. Um, I would, I should have fell down, honestly, but it is what it is. We got the first down, moving the chains. It's right here. We are going to run read option. And, you know, one thing about those read option runs, QB runs, is you never fumble, but we don't get any yards at all. So it definitely wasn't the play call. I mean, it fooled one guy. It just wasn't fooling Ed Reed up top. And this is where the game completely turns. We are going to be looking for Jared Cook right here. We could have lowballed it at any time, but I had a terrible pass seat. I was scared of his user. And Charles Woodson gets a nice acrobat against me, against a fellow Raider fan. Um, I clipped it and rewatched it. It just wasn't a good pass lead. That play is a little tricky. You know, I could have thrown it at so many different angles. Um, but it's just, it is a little tricky to throw and master the pass, especially versus wide. You know, if someone blitzes that play, it's always wide open, I feel like. But when someone's in max coverage, it can get a little tricky. As right here, he's going to get a, a false start for, you know, audibling too much. As right here, first and 14, we could easily, easily get a safety right here. And that's going to help us a lot. He's going to end up going no huddle. 100% got to call a timeout right here. Instead, we get stuck on Ted Hendricks. And there's just no, like, there's no pressure because I had contains. Shitty ass user, I'll be real. I could have used her something with Ted Hendricks. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Five for five, 72 yards. It's not much I could do when he's only had five pass attempts. I don't know what plays are coming. Um, I'm running this cover four. It's right here. Easy cover four look. And we actually get good sheds. Um, he had the low ball once again to the tight end delay fade. But, you know, I'll take it. You know, he got 9 yards, 10 yards. He still only has two timeouts. His offense is definitely very slow pace. And right here. We decide to send a little pressure, man. Um, and, you know, this form actually holds up pretty well with blocking. Easy, nice low ball dot to Patterson right there. It's right here. He is going to pass out of, what, single back bunch? Um, there's just nothing there. He may have had that corner out late, but since I sent the pressure, he just wanted to throw it away. A sack right there definitely would have ended the game. It's right here, guys, sending the pressure once more, and he throws this verticals wheel route for like two yards. I was, or maybe five. That did not seem like five yards to me. I'll be real, but you know, I'll, I'll, I was glad that he threw that. This is it, man. Like one or two more plays, and once more, your boy has a very sleepy user. What is up with my user? He, I, he throws an absolute laser to Moss across the field, and you know, it's gonna come down to an ice kick. And he doesn't have Tucker. He has this Matthew Wright, who I also have. But he nails the ice kick into OT. We go. I literally had this game wrapped up. Um, honestly, played really, really well this whole game. And it's going to go into OT. But thankfully, we get the toss and we receive, 
we click receive so fast that it scared you. It's right here, guys. We are gonna run this crossing route, except we're running it on the solo side, or excuse me, the, the short side. Jared Cook wide open. Take a big hit. One thing I will admit was Sire was landing some crazy hit sticks. I want to say I'm still on conservative right here. But uh, yeah, man, the whole game he was lighting me up with his hit sticks. It's right here once more. Crossing route. Play. And nothing's open this play. So we're going to decide to throw it away. He manned up R1. And that's the guessing game. Sometimes I put R1 on the streak. Sometimes I put him on the hitch. And vice versa. Sometimes I put Moss on the streak. Sometimes I put him on the hitch. So unless you want to man up both guys, that's what really makes that play so effective. You can obviously play zone coverage with the with you know hooks and all that, and it'll play really well. But um, you know, I don't, it's not like I run that play every play. It's right here. We are gonna mix it up, run a little bit of smash return. We're gonna hit Jared Cook. I could have 100% thrown that like so much earlier. And the thing was, his guy had X factor on him. If that was shut down, if he even got like a tackle or you know even like just remotely got close to me i would have 100 percent dropped that that's just an animation in this game it's right here we get him clicked onto the dt this could be it and i'm not risking it man let me know if you think that was open i think with an upwards pass lead that could be a touchdown but sometimes the pass leads in this game aren't the best i'm like thinking you know what just live for another down don't want to chuck something right there uh we've been playing pretty much like really really good on offense this whole game Right here, he's going to try to send a little heat. Easy out route to Patterson. You know, we only get, what, like three yards somehow on that? When he had like a cloud right there, backed up, running with a streak. But it is what it is. Got to convert this third down. It's right here. We are going to hit the zig route. And we get a nice little rack, get the first down, and move those chains. So I ran on first down, got two yards. We're going to run flood right here, looking for tight end. And that's who we got once more. Derek Johnson manned up on Jared Cook on flood is not going to get the job done. After uh, running again on first down, not getting any yards, we run once more, get to the eight. Third and five. This is going to get a little tricky. Um, I'm look, You see me like going through my plays, thinking what play I should run, and I go to my two-point play. And it's going to be tough to get a touchdown off this right here, but I'm really looking to convert um, and, you know, get those five yards. And it's still not going to be easy at, by any means, but, you know, I had to run something, man. I've been so congested up here in this red zone that I had to just space it out. We go five wide, and we're going to hit Jared Cook. We're going to step up, step up, step up. Boom. Nice dot. Get to the one-yard line. But, man, oh, man, it's looking really good. That was just a perfect play call. He sent two, so I didn't even have to worry about any pressure, any sheds. Um, that's one of my favorite plays out of Seattle for a two-point play or, you know, like a fourth-and-one type of play. And he's going to go uh, field goal block. It's almost impossible right here to not score. And that's what we do. We get the touchdown. We end the game. Move on into the loser's bracket. Next game I have in the next round, I'm going to be playing fancy. Leave a like, comment if you want to see that, and I'll drop that video ASAP. That game right there, man, fancy is definitely one of the better players right now. And throughout the whole year, um, there's a lot of knowledge in that game. And if you want it, let me know, man. I got you with that video. Thank mm -hmm. you.